Shaq. Big Shaq. Big Shaq. All right. Last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. Yeah, your whole life. Bro. They're going to tell you you can't. Because you know why? But it's a trap. Because you know why? I'm trapped no, no. like a motherfucker. No, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because <laughs> once you do, whenever something goes down, they're going to throw it back in your face. That's, I've That's had why. That's real. That's why. So you can't ever. That's why you cry because your dad yeah, yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the back one more time? All right. Kind of right. a little quick. Okay. Open up to a woman? Yeah. Never. No. Never. When's the last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. Yeah, your whole life. Bro. They're going to tell you you can't. Because you know why? But it's a trap. Because you know why? I'm trapped no, no. like a motherfucker. No, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because <laughs> once you do, whenever something goes down, they're going to throw it back in your face. That's, I've had That's that. why. Real. That's why. So you can't ever. That's why you cry because your yeah, dad yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry because your dad left. Okay. So Shaq says you should never confide in a woman. Let's start at the tippy top. Let's start at the top. What are some pros and cons are confiding in your woman? Let's start with some pros. Um Well, the the pros are that I don't know about I can't speak for everybody else, but my wife She's my, you know, she's my like safe haven. Oh, Aww. you know, don't do that. <laughs> like, yo, it, it, like I, I trust her enough to tell her, you know, right? You know what I mean? So, like, so it builds trust. Definitely builds trust. Okay. And like, yo, I can't. No, no. no I, let me not say it builds trust. Mm -hmm. It's not like, yo, hold my secret and I can see if I can trust you. Nah, we've gotten to the point where we're so. But it starts with something small. It starts with, yo, I just bought it. To, to like, <laughs> yo, you know what I mean? I know where the body's buried. You know what I mean? Like, so it builds trust. It doesn't start day one. It doesn't start like, you know, mm -hmm. you don't tell your biggest, you know, you, you, don't, you don't confide your biggest thing in her the first day. Yeah. So it builds trust. Like, you, one day you'll get to the point where you and your wife are. If I, someone's on the first day yeah. now or someone's, building something or someone's a newlywed right now and they feel like yo you know mm -hmm. feel like telling wifey that they might have stuck the dick <laughs> <laughs> college or something like yo i don't recommend that i don't think you could tell everything i don't think you could i, I think sometimes that that backfires on, on you with the i think it depends thing. i think it depends and i think i think a lot of it is betting yeah like if you got the right person bro mm -hmm. You kind of know how to test the boundaries of what you can say and what you cannot say. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything and comes in steps, it's increments. And absolutely. I so think building so it's so it builds trust. We have anything else? What's 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 another problem? Um it 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 promotes closeness though. Yeah. Like when you like if if we like say for instance that if we told each other secrets or whatever and I'm like yo I hold your secret you know you hold my secret it builds sort of like a bond in a sense you know what I mean and you don't tell it and you don't tell it it's yeah. like yo yeah. I trust you know like we I got hit like it's I got his he got mine yeah. and it's like yo that's a bond that we have yeah. that ain't nobody knows or whatever yeah. so I think shit there are people first wives out there still holding on to secrets yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know. Yeah. So um closeness and then it um if, if I could add one, it um I think it solidifies the unit. Like it builds closeness, but it solidifies you guys as a unit. And it's a good pressure reliever, you know, mm. cuz sometimes you're holding things inside and you do kind of need to let it out to, to to somebody, you know? And a lot of people don't talk to therapists and things like that. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to have somebody in the in the hole with them, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when you when you when you're saying that, it's about if you anxiety, stress, mm -hmm. like you gotta be able to relieve that to get it off to somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you might have all right, an issue with your homeboy. You can't tell your homeboy. So who else? Like, usually, 
men men specifically they have a homeboy or they have their lady and a certain shit that they can't tell their lady and a certain shit that they might feel about their homeboy that they can't tell their homeboy that they, t- they tell their wife mm-hmm. you understand what i'm saying yeah and that's just how it goes so it's like those are going to be the closest people to you and you got to get it off you can't nobody wants i don't think anybody wants to just hold shit in you understand what i'm saying i mean apparently somebody does like like Shaq. no Shaq sounds he sounds scorned a little bit Mm -hmm. like a woman did him wrong and threw something in his face sounds like some of the cons so the cons are thrown into somebody's face oh absolutely you confide in someone you tell them your deepest darkest secret Mm -hmm. and they throw it in your face in the heat of the argument and that is like a gut punch it is but i i believe in majority of cases you could tell if that person is that type of person right yeah like this is what i believe right i believe that god forbid something was to happen with me and my wife i don't think she would throw anything in my face oh yeah i think she would keep everything you know like she wouldn't say anything to try to go at me Mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying but I think if she was that type of woman, I would have seen that shit already. How does it? How does that rear? Because when you argue, they gonna throw it in your Come face out, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When y'all Come in out. private, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they telling you other people's secrets, yeah. or they doing it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, so you saying Shaq kind of seemed a little scorned? I believe so. I think this has happened to him. Mm-hmm. A woman has divulged some secrets about him. Or some yeah. some shit that he told in confidence, mm-hmm. and that's why he's feeling that way. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, are secrets in the bedroom about the same thing? Like, are they like you know, like like bedroom secrets? Like, like what know, though? Like kinks or things like that? Like, is that considered like a secret? I, I don't know if or it's necessarily a secret because, like, like if you, it can't be if that person like your your lady is indulging in the same thing or right, she, right, you're right, doing right, it together right. yeah, yeah but if you tell her like yo when i was in college no nah, but what if you make her put on a strap on and peg you yeah she, she, there's, there's no bad thing for that for her like she just gonna she was gonna tell niggas he, possibly <laughs> but you <laughs> right, that's right. another uh, like i said yeah you would know if she's that type of woman that would do that to you, right? So, yeah. a, a lot of women not going to do it. They're not going to, a lot of women won't do it to you while they're still your girl or your wife. Yeah. But as soon as they out the door Dog, or something happen. go wrong, they're going to tell the world. Dog. Yeah. yeah. 